Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 10, Football Manager 19. Uh, wanted to, let's see, let's go through my notifications. Uh, da, da, da. Tom T, welcome back. Uh, been in France on vacation. I got nothing for that, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da, da, da. I got an, uh, I got a subscription from Colin Barnett, but he was pushing a website called zsmpromo.com that it helps your videos rank better. I, I did a search for it. Uh, nothing came up. So I was really afraid that was one of those spam links. So I didn't go to it. So Colin, if you're legit, welcome. Um, I didn't go to the site. Uh, if you were spamming me, well, you know, whatever. Uh, haven't got any new, uh, Jeff Brosh, welcome to the channel. Had to go back there a little ways. Um, Kev Millard, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining. I think uh, Kevin Kev came over from uh, Loki Doki's channel. Uh, Joe Hardy, Al Makiso, Al Makiso, Okabi Rintaru, City Fan, nineteen twenty seven. That's going back to the first of the month, so I'm a little behind. But to all of you guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I did get a question posed to me uh, by Dylan B. Is that the same guy? Nope, Colin B. Dylan B. Uh, great video, was wondering what database you were using. So I have mentioned several times we're doing a South American journeyman. I am using a, a database, uh, user-created database, not by me, uh, to get the lower levels. So let me bring this over here for you guys to take a look at. So this is it, it's in the Editor's Hideaway, and it's the Work in Progress South and Central America by T Toneo and Sporadic Smiles. Uh, it has 10 countries, Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Uh, also some Central America and the Caribbean. So those would be nice to do uh, if you were doing some smaller countries. Uh, but anyway, this is the one that I'm using. I only have the South American. I think I put in a couple of Central American, some of the smaller ones. I mentioned, I, I don't recall off the top of my head, but I did mention that in the first episode, I think, of which countries were actually activated. Um, there is an issue with Chile, from what I remember. There were some comments, so you can read down in the comments. There's only four pages, uh, so it doesn't take long. But there was something about Chile having some issues, so just be aware of that. Uh, I'm going to pop that back over there and get that out of the way. Make sure that we are recording. We are. All right, so we have our next match today. So let's do a little catching up because there's been a lot going on. Not by me, just hitting the continue button for... Uh, about an hour and a half. Uh, but we are the most active team with eight new players coming in the most recent transfer window that just closed. Uh, but we want to come up to the Segunda Division and we want to look at uh, the stages and we want to go to, well, holy crap. No, that's not what we want. Uh, competitions, Segunda overview stages here we go all right so in the quarterfinals uh gran valencia maracay edged uh yeah, butchering these names yara kiyanos 7-4 on aggregate 2-2 in the second leg uh liber liber Libertador, Liber <laughs> Libertador 5-3 aggregate over real frontera Atletico uh, El Vigia, 6-5 aggregate over Falcon, and Chico de Guyana, 3-1 on aggregate over Titans. Then we go to the semifinals, and uh, Libertador and Atletico advance, 5-3 and 3-2 on aggregate, respectively. And in the opening stage final, it was Atletico over that team, uh, 
4-4 on penalties after losing 3-1 on uh, in the second leg. So that was interesting. So here is what happens. All right. So we have the opening stage, and then we have a playoff for that, and then we have a champion crown. And then we have a closing stage. So in the closing stage, we redraw all the groups, and you can see it's three groups because of the number of teams. We are in group B this time with Atletico, that team, <laughs> Liberty, uh, Real Frontera, and boy, those were three teams in the playoffs last time, so that sucks balls. Uh, Titans, didn't they make the playoffs too? I think we're in with all four playoff teams. Uh, ULA and Yara, Yara, Kwai? Yara, Yara, we'll just call them Yara. That's what I'm going to go with. So yeah, we drew a pretty rough group there. Uh, Sokopo, Yara, Quanos, Llaneros, Chico de Guyana up here. So looks like a tough draw for us. And then it looks like we're going to have a playoff with a champion for the closing stage. And then I don't know what happens. So again, first season, we'll figure it out. But we are in a bigger group here. So if we look at our schedule, we have a lot more games. Well, actually, is it more? Oh, the friendlies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, we got one ex we got two extra games uh, b being in the larger group. So uh, we will get rolling on this. We're going to open up with Liberty and ULA today. Yeah, I'm li Libertador. It's just Liberty, guys. Liberty. All right. Uh, I also want to go through the transfer window. So we may only have one uh, match today. We'll see. We'll see how much I can get in. I'm seven minutes in already. I want to keep the videos manageable. Uh, we are in July, so we had no outgoings, but we have brought in quite a few guys. So Jose Rivero comes in from Chantanella, and he actually cost money, 1.1K. He is a center back, three and a half star current and future. Uh, fitness reach, not very pacey, 5'11". He's got decent heading, though. Uh, marking, tackling is okay. Eh. He can also play right wing. Uh, he does have uh, not very good crossing or dribbling ability. So he likely slots into the center back for us. Uh, Cesar Rito from Centro Italio on a free. Uh, he is a left winger. Uh, he's got some pace, acceleration, three-star ability. Uh, a little bit of flair. He can dribble. Decent crossing and technique for this level. So looking forward to him. Haven't played with any of these guys yet, so they're going to all be debuts. I haven't even looked at them. I've just, when I get the email, because remember, I've got my director of football making all the moves just because I was having some issues in the early going finding players. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to give it to my director of football, uh, and he's going to deal with it. And he's just dropping money, man, like it's going out of style. Uh, like, like he's part of the American government. Uh, Luis Correa from Atletico PR. He is a striker. He's got pace, acceleration, three-star current, four-star potential. He can dribble. Finishing's not so great. Passing is okay. Um, yeah, so eh, we'll see. I don't think he's going to challenge for the starting job. Eduardo Valenzuela from Venezuela. Centro Italio, another guy we got on a free. And that's cool. Valenzuela from Venezuela. I like it. Four-star current, four-star potential. He is a keeper. Uh, reflexes, I don't know. He's uh, He looks good, but he, his ratings look like they suck. But that's because of what I'm used to looking at, I guess. Uh, Atletico PR, we bring in another one in Ignacio Trevino. Who, uh, Ignacio? Ignacio. I think it was one of the Christmas cartoons, uh, like the year without a Santa Claus or something, when... Santa, if you maybe you've seen it, but I think Santa Claus uh, decides he's gonna take a vacation or whatever, and uh, so the the two elves 
go down to earth and then they get thrown in jail and then Mrs. Claus has to go down and they have Heat Miser and Snow Miser. I think Ignacio is the little kid on earth. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's a left back, right back combo. I like that. I like guys that can play multiple positions. Not very pacey. He does have some crossing ability. He can play some defense and tackle as well. So I do like that. So he'll probably play some. We'll see how he slots in. Again, I haven't even looked at these players until just now. So I don't even know where they're going to slot into the starting lineup. Uh, Ricardo Medina from Atletico Merida. Medina from Merida. He's a left back. Two-star current, five-star potential. Uh, good acceleration. He cannot cross the ball for shit. Uh, so not sure how well that's going to go. Maybe he's a young guy. Uh, Joel Araju, Araju from Chantanella for 1.9. He is a right winger, uh, four-star current, five-star potential. He can't jump, so he's kind of like me. I'm su surprised he doesn't weigh like 352 if he can only jump two. Um, but good pace. Dribbling, crossing, eh, passing, not so great. So we wanted to be a one-touch and then a cross guy. And then Cristobal Vivas from Minervan on a free. He is a center back, two-and-a-half star current, four-star potential. Heading is real good. He is six feet tall, so really solid heading, marking, tackling. I could see him starting a lot, but again, I don't know how. Since I haven't looked, we haven't played. I mean, hell, we're at the end of July and our last match was in May. It's been 60 days, and I haven't recorded in a week. So anyway, let's get to the match, and then we can look at how our, how our club sorts out. <coughs> so a lot of business, a lot of business. We're going to be losing our ass. We were already losing our ass in, in finances. Come on, boys. I guess he figured we needed some bodies to uh, to try to stay up. <laughs> All right, next on red. All right, matches. So let's get to it. Here we go. Match preview. All right, we are at home, underdogs, calm weather. I don't even remember what tactics we're playing. Okay, so I've got the 4-4-2. I've got the 4-4-2 anchor. And I've got that for more attacking. I think we're going to go here because we are at home. All right, still a lot of red, understandable. Tell you what, let's pop in and make sure these guys are training. Striker, false nine. Because, yeah, they've, they've missed training, and I'm not good at keeping up on that. It's not like they're going to... It's not like they're going to get any better at this because we don't have the training facilities. All right, uh, Rito, wide mid attacking. All right, so yeah, he hasn't played a uh, start for us yet. All right, so we're going to go mid left, wide mid attack. Good. Arujo, he's new, wide mid attack. So midfield, awesome. Samoza, all right, he's already played for us, but we need to, he's already trained up. Barcelo, uh, Segundo Volante, attack. Defensive mid, Segundo Volante on attack. And then I've got... Zulaga Rivero, ball playing defender. Cover. All right, let's try that. I may end up moving those guys. Ball playing defender, defend. He's new. Ball playing defender, defend. All right, we'll give that a shot. All right, so it looks like uh, in Correa. Correa's new. Rito, my wingers are new. Samoza's new. No, he's not. Barcelo's not new. 
One of my two center backs are new. My keeper's new. Let's check a uh, comparison with Bogmir. You? Hello? Hello? All right, so he's got a little more eccentricity, speed, communication, distribution. All right, so he's a little bit better. Not, not a shit ton. All right, well, let's submit the team and get to it. We did not play any friendlies. Again, I have found it, you know, I've looked at the friendlies, and typically there's only two clubs that we can play friendlies against. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, uh, we are going to give them some faith. All right, and kickoff. All right, we are in the yellow again. Liberty's in the green, or the white, I'm sorry, in the white. Come on, fellas. All right. Figueroa, Esquivel. Missed slide tackle. Shot. Punched away. All right. Valenzuela from Venezuela. Cardenas. Oh, no. Offsides. Offsides. Pull that off the board there, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, he was he was way off sides. That was brutal. What a cheater. No wonder they got to the playoffs last time. Oh, heavy touch. Rodriguez pounces on it for Liberty. Oh, a nice tackle. Rivero plods back to get it. Plays it back to the keeper. Ooh, right at the touch line. Back out to Rivero. All right, he lumps it up. Arujo, nice. Oh, nice through ball. Oh, he drops it. Lunar! Oh, man, that was brutal. Okay, Rito. Set piece. Just wide. Come on, fellas. All right, we are doing... Body language... Let me, okay, yeah, 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 all right, all right, that's what I, that's what I wanted, because that shows the same as this, uh, match stats, we already have, action zones, no, don't want that, focus of attacks, we could do that, Shots. Yeah, that looks better. Liberty FC stats. We don't need that. All right, this is what I wanted, and I'm more interested in my team. Thank you very much. All right, Cardenas into the wall. Somebody just took one to the face. Rito controls it, brings it up the left flank, crosses the midfield line. Oh, tackled away. A lot of action in the first 10 minutes. Cardenas. Ooh. You know, they tell you as a keeper, because I played keeper, to always get your ball. It's kind of like baseball. You get your ball, your body behind the ball to where the ball has to go through your hands and your body. You don't catch it off to the side like he did. That's a training issue. Oh, what a save, though. You, you, you If you make saves like that, you just do what you do. <laughs> all right that went through the box oh a stomping by barcelo no card really wow okay oh no he chested it down right to their player garcia slots at home Ugh. Ugh. all right you know what tactics i am going to switch over we're going to drop into the anchor see if that helps us any all right nice touch squared in gotta watch those heavy touches oh off target come on boys Possession. All right, we're coming back with a few shots. 
Uh, Figueroa, slight injury into the wall again. Goes out of play. I was like, nobody's running after that one. All right, that's their guy that got injured. Oh, Rito. Oh, he curves it wide. Thought we had a chance there from right straight center on the box. Uh, let's uh, get creative. Cardenas. Oh, man, he overpowered. Oh, Correa jumps on it again. Breaks away. Well, he lays it out for Lunar to make a run. Lunar's not the fastest uh, knife in the drawer. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, Correa. Lunar. Oh, Lunar just blasted it on goal. All right, Lunar again. Squared into Barcelo. Plays it up to Correa. Lays it back to uh, Somoza. Plays it out to Zuriaga. Crossed in. Lunar puts it in. Fourth goal of the season. Now, so he had three in the early going. Three in, what, ten games then. All right, that's great. Gets us back to even. Nice. Nice job, boys. All right, Valbuena, yellow card. Boy, those yellow cards, man, those are brutal. I really can't wait to go back to England where I can have, you know, 12 yellow cards in a game. Oh, <laughs> he just sat the keeper on his ass uh, and just sl and just laid it right past him like, oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, that was brutal. I'm going to embarrass my keeper and watch that again. Oh, man, that was brutal. Oh, he just sat him on his knees. Oh, he was like, oh. I don't know what to do. That's brutal. Seven on target, two clear cut chances, a half chance. Oh, that's harsh. All right. Um, yeah, disappointing. Please watch your. And you know what? I want to go. Let's go here. I am going to play you as a defender. I'm going to play you as a central defender. Defender. No, you didn't switch over there, buddy. There we go. All right, you're better. I don't know if those guys need to be wingbacks. I'm going to make them, let's see, wingback. Well, he he can play. They, those guys can play okay. What about him? Wide midfielder. Tackle harder. Mark tighter. And yeah, I'm gonna have you guys both just play wingers. I like the false nine, but you know, I'm going to, I think I'm going to have, uh, put pressure closing down. I'm going to have him be a pressing forward. And then I'm going to have you be the poacher. Well, you know, we'll see what that does. I don't know. We'll go with that. Uh, back to the pep talk, start the second half. Just put them in some positions they're a little more comfortable with and see if that helps us any at all, right? It may not. Because I've always had a... Ooh. I've always had, you know, I've, I've had pretty good success. From range, Correa, number six on the season. Get in there, son. Nice job. Nice job. All right, there's an equalizer. I mean, these guys made the finals, so if we can draw with them, that's actually a pretty good sign. I'm thinking. Lumped forward. Lunar makes the run. Oh, he almost beat the keeper across his face. Oh, what a what a job by the keeper to get his hand on it. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, that was a heavy touch. We should have been on that. All right, there's a cross. Dangerous ball. Nice block. Of course, it goes right to their guy. And good tackle. Of course, it goes right to their guy. Woo! Keeper laid out on a full extension there. Uh, yeah, we're at 25 minutes, so I think we're only going to have time for the one match. Um, oh, into the wall. You know what? Let's check something else. Maybe I have... Uh, Oh, I have extended highlights. Duh. Uh, key highlights. Let's go to that. Slightly faster, very fast. Maybe that's been my problem. Well, we ought to start seeing shorter videos now, right? 14 to 12 on shots. I'm pretty happy with that. Rito. Oh, let's make it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that right in the middle of the highlight, but that's okay. Um... All right, Porto. I'm going to bring you on for Lunar. And then Salazar. Let's get the yellow card off. And, oh, a penalty! Penalty! Lunar is going to take it before he walks off the field. No, he's not. So who's taking it now? Rivero. I don't know if that's good. Oh, he slots it into the corner. We're up three to two, boys. Oh, Lunar's probably just... Goddamn, boss, I was getting ready to line up for the PK, man. Oh, that's brilliant. 71. All right. Oh, a counter here by Mirabal. He lumps it. Oh, Figueroa even injured. Look at the pace. Into the side of the net. Uh, I'm going to go, hold on, tactics. Let's pause. Uh, no, in possession. Yeah, let's do a little more time wasting, I think. Confirm. Thank you. All right. Headed down. Rito corrals the ball into Barcelo. Correa lets it get away from him. Rivero outrun by Herrera to the ball. But he stays... Oh, no! No! <laughs> Another save by the keeper goes right to the other guy. Oh, shit. Uh, get creative. Make a sub. Andrade, defensive right. No, mid. Carazellas, mid left. Yeah, let's bring him on for uh, no defensive mid. I don't. I still don't have any any center mids. That's still a point of weakness. All right, we'll do that. Oh, that's oh, that's harsh. Okay, hold on. Tactics. All right, I think we want to go. Let no time wasting now. All right, Cardenas Rodriguez on the set. Oh, he! Oh my God, he just buried that. What the hell? I think he was blocked. Look at all the offsides, guys. Huh? All right, we need to uh, push forward. Rodriguez with a yellow. Carazales lumps it into the box. Lamas with the save. Lorenzo Lamas. The Renegade. All right, there's a control by Zuniaga. Salazar up to Arajo. Porto shoots. It goes in. Oh, my God. How the hell did that one go in? Seriously. Oh, man. The keepers in this league are freaking horrendous. Oh, can we can we FM them? No. Lorenzo Lamas goes up and gets that one. 
Come on, it's only supposed to be five minutes of stoppage. Blow the freaking whistle. I don't know, last time we had this, we scored real fast. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. All right. <laughs> four to four. Holy shit. Two to one at the half. Equaled up in the first minute of the second half. Oh, wow. All right. I do appreciate the efforts. That's actually a pretty good draw for us. All right. So let's finish the day, I suppose. Uh, Correa makes his debut, as does Rivero, Arajo, Rito, Valenzuela. So let's finish the day and then figure out where we're going to be at. Because I want to try to get through these seasons. I don't want to piddle around. <clears throat> Sorry. Got to get comfortable. And I need to recenter here. There we go. It's actually good now that I've got the camera readjusted. Oh, I refocused my camera so you can see a little bit more of my uh, of my self. Good or bad? Probably very bad. All right. All right, Valbuena, four yellow cards, another suspension. All right, competition-wise, we are in third position. That's awesome. Good deal. Good deal. Schedule-wise, I think we want to come back pretty quick just to get a feel for the early go. Well, I don't know, do we? Three draws in a row. We've only got one win. It'd be nice to get some wins. Um, let's see. Stage B. No, that's not what I want. I was trying to see, you know, when you're in England and they always show you the projections about where you're supposed to finish? What is our what is our club? What's the board want from us? This uh, fight bravely against relegation. All right, so that's good. Uh, looks like we are down pretty damn close against relegation. Oh, that's right. Overview, season preview. There we go. All right, yeah, we were okay. So we're supposed to just be out. Stages, closing stage overall table that's what i want all right so we're plus one aracero socopo they're not in the league with us no they're not i don't know i don't know man all right well let's come back uh, let's skip a couple of games let's come back for uh, atletico and titans I think uh, that'll be that'll give us two games under our belt. Uh, see where we're going and gets us you know back pretty quickly. And we'll do I'm thinking maybe three videos in this stage. Uh, we'll see. All right, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.